Good morning, everybody, and uh, we'll start this time around with a uh, viewer photo. This one coming off Instagram, Rock the Lake CLE. CLE is the airport code for Cleveland. So this is our neighbors to the south and east. This is looking over Lake Erie, except this is not the lake. That's a deck of uh, cloud cover or fog. Up above that, you can see the cumulus clouds that are out there. And it looks like the city or the skyline is just floating on the cloud cover. Kind of a neat shot there. I thought I'd share that with you folks. Uh, uh, and again, uh, that's an Instagram photo. As you uh, look at my Facebook page, if you want to connect with me there, it's Kevin Craig Fox 17 or at Fox Weatherman on Instagram or Twitter. Across the lower 48 states, what we're really going to be watching this low pressure area and cold front. Out ahead of this cold front, there's a line of some showers that are out there, light rain showers. Then there's going to be a low pressure area that rides along this front once it drops to the area. And you see this snow over the northern and central plains. It's going to pull that snow, try to pull it up into our area. Uh, but the model trends have been for every single model run to pull it further and further and further and further to the south and east. So it may impact southeastern areas of our viewing area. We're talking uh, maybe uh, Kalamazoo over to Battle Creek, over to Marshall, over to Coldwater. Water. There may be enough to lighten the ground up as we get later on Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday. I don't know that some of it will get back to Grand Rapids. If it does, it's going to be very light stuff. But the trend has been shifting this further to the south and east, which, of course, is good news. I just want to I'll let you know, too, uh, all these areas shaded in blue. We are under a freeze watch for almost the entire area from Tuesday night, actually Wednesday morning into Thursday morning for temperatures that are going to get down into the mid uh, to upper 20s. So for the commercial fruit growers, that could be detrimental uh, for you folks that have already planted the gardens. You'll want to cover things up. Uh, the only exception to that rule is Oce Oceana in Nuego County under a freeze warning for tonight. And I would think that all of these watches will probably be upgraded to warnings in about another 24 hours from now. So my concern, not so much for the snow as it is for the fruit growers and the sub uh, freezing temperatures that are going to be coming in here this week. So as we look off to the north and west of Grand Rapids, yes, there is some uh, rain shower activity on radar. This is dropping to the south and east. It's not heavy stuff, but just know that we may see a few of these light rain showers moving move through out ahead of the cold front as we go through the day today. And you could see there certainly are some rain showers that extend all the way back into southern portions of Wisconsin. Our temperatures are in the mid 40s there in Big Rapids and Fremont uh, in White Cloud. We're 45 in uh, Cedar Springs right now, 47 in Grand Rapids down to the south. We're in the mid 40s as well. There were some clearing earlier this morning, but those clouds are slowly going to thicken up here. And then we'll have the chance of those rain showers as we head on through the day. That's how the forecast reads, mostly cloudy, breezy, cool, a chance of some light rain showers. 47 for the daytime highs in Grand Rapids. We actually hit our high temperature, I believe, about one or two this morning. We were 51 degrees. I don't think we'll get back there. We'll probably only make up about the mid to upper 40s as we head on through the day. And when I say breezy, we're talking southwest winds turning westerly at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So here's what it looks like on future track. Hold front off to our north and west. Out ahead of the front, especially further uh, to the south and east of Grand Rapids. Places like Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Marshall, cold water may make about 50 52 degrees today but behind this front there is colder air and the temperatures will eventually drop off as we head on through the day as we go through the evening and the overnight hours we may turn partly cloudy uh, with temperatures dropping into the uh, uh, upper 20s to around the uh, lower 30s across the area and there's that snow you can see the snow most models are keeping this to uh, south and east of most of our area over southeastern lower Michigan. Some of that could back up to along the I-94 corridor where we see maybe an inch or two enough to turn the ground white, but I don't think it's anything to get excited about because the trend in these models has been to take it further and further to the south and east. And then as we go through Wednesday, just colder temperatures. How much snow are we talking about? Let's look at a couple of our main forecast models, the European model. Again, maybe a whitening of the ground from Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, through rivers cold water and then as we look at the GFS forecast model here that's taking almost all of it further to the south and east so that's why I say if you've been seeing social media posts from media outlets over the weekend you're seeing where they're banging out or putting out five six seven inches you could see that this is clearly shifting south and east so probably nothing to get too excited about could that take a, f a further north and westerly track absolutely but the trend has been to not do that and we'll buy in with the trend and I think a lot of our areas may 
may miss out on that unless you're further south and east of GR. 47 degrees today, a chance of showers. 41 degrees tomorrow with a, a chance of some rain or snow showers, especially as we get into Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. We may start to see some of the light snow showers in those areas we just talked about. 41 on Wednesday with a few flakes and flurries, and then we at least start to warm back up into the 50s by the time we get into this upcoming weekend. And by the way, 60, that's our normal high for this time of the year. Hey, here's a reminder, Fox 17 is looking for our next weather kid. Every month we'll pick a kid to do a weather experiment with Candace Monticelli. All you need to do is head to fox17online.com slash contest to enter your child for a chance to win. It's 6.50. Let's check traffic now. Here's Rob.